Okay, next up in the ECG course in level one, and we're still in our fundamentals unit, we're going to talk about segments. Last one we did was on waves. Next one's on intervals. Waves, segments, and intervals kind of gives you an idea of the parts of the ECG that we're looking for, and then uh, we'll try to tie that back together with how is the electrical activity and the mechanical activity correlating. How is that electrical induction system actually working? Uh, and then we'll wrap this unit up with uh, where to put the wires so you can see all this cool stuff. So remember waves, P wave, QRS, T wave, and now we're going to talk about segments. And so the definition of a segment is the space between waves. So if we have a P wave and then a QRS and then a T, there's a space between that P and the R wave. We call it the PR segment. Then there's a space after the QRS between the S and the T wave. We call it the ST segment. Now we also are showing intervals on there. Intervals is a separate lesson, but I want to tie it all together on one diagram. So you can kind of already get a sneak peek of what the, the uh, magic points are in the interval lesson. A segment is a space between waves, and an interval ends up being a wave and a segment. So, the PR segment and the ST segment, uh, two important ones for us to keep in mind. Here's the PR shown a little differently. Sometimes it's slope, or whether it is depressed off the baseline, below the baseline or not. Those things come in down the road when we're talking about pericarditis and we're talking about um, atrial enlargement and some other stuff. That's totally R-rated right now. Just want you to know where the PR is located. It's typically going to be at the baseline. ST segment, again, a lot of stuff about that in determining whether the person's having an MI or not. And you probably heard the term STEMI, <clears throat> which is ST elevation, the ST segment, elevated off the baseline. ST elevation myocardial infarction, STEMI. So, Anyway, the J point might be a good landmark for you to start learning. And that's the end of the QRS. That's where the QRS has stopped and the ST segment starts. And so that J point is an important point to us when we start talking about ST segment changes and all that stuff uh, toward the end of this course in the ST changes unit, which is the last unit in this course, which is quite a ways from now. So... J point into the QRS, we look at that ST segment as from the J point to the start of the T wave, and that ST segment, we would like it to be at the baseline. If it is elevated, we have ST elevation. If it's below the baseline, it's ST depression, and we talk a lot more about that coming up. Segments are the, is the space between waves. Now you have the TP segment. Talked about it early on when we were defining baseline. Hopefully you have that fact um, saved in your brain or written on your body somewhere. The TP segment defines the baseline. So you will have situations where the ST is up, the ST is down. Um, sometimes the QRS is a strange shape. And you're trying to figure out, well, where's the isoelectric line? Where's the baseline? The answer is find the T wave and connect it to the next P wave, the TP segment, there's your baseline. Segments, PR, ST, TP.